Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about my most anticipated romance books for 2020. <laughs> Okay, so I know this video is very, very, very late. We are basically halfway through the year almost, but I didn't get around doing this at the beginning of the year. So I decided that it would be a fun idea to go month by month and pick out one book for each month that I still haven't read yet that I'm very much anticipating. So I still have books all the way from January and May that came out in those months that I still haven't read yet that I'm still anticipating because of course I haven't read them yet. <laughs> So I'm going to be talking about a few books that I'm very excited to read that all came out in 2020. And then at the end of the video, I have one book that I am really, really, really excited for that comes out in 2021 because it was supposed to come out in 2020 and it got pushed back. Very upset, but it's okay. It's okay. I understand. So these are all romance books. I have plenty of books that I'm excited for that aren't necessarily romance related, but those will not be talked about in this video. I might make another video about the other books that aren't romance related if y'all are interested in that. Most of them are young adult books. So the first book on this list that came out January 13th of 2020 is Credence by Penelope Douglas. I still have not yet read this book. <laughs> I've been hearing very mixed things of it actually, so people either love it or they hate it. So I don't know where I would fall on this. I've only read, I think, two previous Penelope Douglas books. I read Punk 57 and Birthday Girl and really enjoyed both of those. I think both of those got either 4.5 or 5 stars from me. This is about a girl named Tiernan, I believe, and she's about to turn 18, but her parents end up passing away. The person who becomes her guardian is her father's stepbrother. Jake. He has two sons, I believe, Noah and Caleb, and they live in the mountains of Colorado. And I believe it is a romance between all of them, maybe. Or like her with each of them separately. I don't think they're all together. <laughs> She has a relationship with each and every one of them, all three of the men. It's very taboo. I haven't really read a lot of taboo romance books. I like taboo romance books, but I don't really know where to start. I don't know which ones are good. Yeah, I'm very interested still in this one. A book that came out in February that I'm still so excited to read is The Affair by J.L. Berg. This came out February 13th of 2020. So J.L. Berg wrote a romance book that was one of my favorites of 2019, uh, Within These Walls. I absolutely adored it and I have recently recently purchased some new J.L. Berg books that I'm very excited to read, but this is her newest release that sounded so, so, so good to me. So this is about a woman who ends up finding her late grandmother's hidden journal. She finds out through this journal that her grandmother had an affair with her husband's brother. And so she's reading about all of that while she's having her own romance story where she ends up getting divorced and she ends up having a maybe relationship with her ex-brother-in-law, possibly. I haven't heard really anyone talk about this book and that sounds really interesting to me. In the present time, she's not cheating, but the grandmother apparently is cheating back when the journal and are taking place I believe and I'm not really one for cheating so maybe I'll step out of my comfort zone with this one. This just sounded so good to me. Book that came out on March 30th 2020 that I'm still dying to read is From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I don't know like anything about this book but it's by Jennifer L. Armentrout and I love Jennifer L. Armentrout. I believe she was supposed to drop this book at a polycon I'm pretty sure. It was like a big surprise book no one knew about kind of like a Beyonce album, you know what I mean? She's just gonna drop it and I believe she was releasing it to everybody on that day. Like there were gonna be physical copies and everything there. But I believe this is a fantasy romance book. So this is about Poppy and she is a maiden. The life of a maiden is solidarity, never to be touched, never to be looked upon, never to be spoken to, never to experience pleasure. Waiting for the day of her ascension, she would rather be with the guards fighting back the evil that took her family than preparing to be found worthy by the gods. But the choice has never been hers. The entire kingdom's future rests on Poppy's shoulders, something she's not even quite sure she wants for herself because a maiden has a heart and a soul and longing. And when Hawk, a golden-eyed guard, honor bound to ensure her ascension, enters her life. Destiny and duty become tangled with desire and need. He incites her anger, makes her question everything she believes in, and tempts her 
with the forbidden that sounds so good so it's like a romance between her and a guard oh, that sounds so good i've been hearing really great things about it especially from my friend ashley from ashart books i'll link down below i love her um she absolutely adored this book gave it five stars so i very much trust her opinion so i'm so excited for this i love jennifer armage out and i love fantasy romance so for april's month i have to happen to hoax by martha waters this came out on april 7th this is actually our lovely ladies live show pick for the month of May so if you want to discuss this book with us read it with us and our live show will be on June 6th at 7 p.m. Central Time on Jen's channel this is a historical romance book where the couple I believe is already married and I believe it was like a marriage of convenience or something like that and they don't really like love each other so they live separate lives after they're married and so one day I believe the wife gets news that her husband has been seriously injured and is basically about to die so she rushes to his side and he's perfectly fine and so she thinks that he like played some mean trick on her so she starts to play mean tricks on him and so they're playing mean tricks on each other and they end up falling in love through all of that I believe that sounds so cute I'm due to start this book any day now and I'm so excited for it I've been hearing very mixed things things about it so hopefully I do love this book though next we have a book that came out on May 19th of 2020 we have Dirty Charmer by Emma Chase this is actually my current read this is the fifth book in the royally series I absolutely adore this series these are all like royalty or high class society romance books all centered around a made-up country called wesco so the first book was about like the prince of wesco and then the second book was about his brother and then the third book was about like a bodyguard that guards the royal family the fourth book was about uh going back in time to when the queen fell in love for the first time and now this one is about a bodyguard who was a guard to the royal family he was present in the other books but this is his story and his relationship with a duchess and he's a bodyguard to this duchess who's also trying to become a doctor so i believe he is guarding her while she's like doing her residency <laughs> um so i'm very interested to see how that works out i'm only an hour into the audiobook i want more people to read this series because it's just so much fun the second book in this series is one of my favorite books of all time it's so good it has great disability representation in it and just anxiety representation in it in the second book and like this the all the books are amazing to me and emma chase is so good and i love this world i love west co i love this series so much so i'm very excited to get more into this book june's book the book that comes out on june 23rd of 2020 is take a hint danny brown by talia hibbert now i absolutely uh adored Get Alive Chloe Brown earlier this year. It's my favorite book of 2020 so far. This is the next book in the Brown Sisters series all surrounding Danny who is Chloe's from the first book's sister. I think there's also LGBTQ plus representation in here. I believe Danny might be bisexual or pansexual if I'm not mistaken. I don't really know. It's not explicitly stated in the summary. All it says is that she has romantic partners with whatever gender she is dying for the perfect friends with benefits partner <laughs> that's what danny is dying for at the moment there is a security guard zephyr and he rescues danny from a workplace fire drill gone wrong but a video of the heroic rescue goes viral and now half the internet is shipping them this is a fake relationship for the public but she also really 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 wants to get with him this sounds really good i love tally him it's writing so stinking much so I'm very excited for this one and to dive back into the world because I love these brown sisters so much okay we're gonna stop the video for a second and I'm going to pull a name from my shout out mug I have every single person I have subscribed to in this mug no matter if they're big or small and I'm going to shout them out and give them some love and I hope that y'all go check out whoever I shout out today and every person I shout out because every single one of them that I've subscribed to is amazing <laughs> so today's will be let's see here let's do this one this one is oh oh my goodness we got a great one today we have steph oh i don't know if you can see that but it's steph from neffa entertainment i absolutely adore steph she is from australia i love her accent she is absolutely hilarious like hilarious she'll read 
just about like anything I think. She mainly reads like young adult books but she'll read romance. We buddy read Fix Her Up together actually. My Christmas present for her was a physical copy of Fix Her Up and she reads thriller books. She reads like everything here and there and I just love her opinions on everything. She's so hilarious. She is also so aesthetically pleasing. Like her videos are amazing and I love her. Um, she also makes bullet journal videos that are so calming and relaxing. I love Steph. She is so sweet and like so supportive and amazing and I love her so so much. So please 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 go check out my friend Steph. She has an amazing booktube channel and she's an amazing person and I love her content and I know that everyone else will as well. The book that comes out in July, July 7th, 2020 is not like the movie by Carrie Winfrey. I'm in the minority of the world I guess and I actually really enjoyed Waiting for Tom Hanks. I thought it was really cute and really sweet. I really enjoyed it. I think I gave it like four stars and I was so excited for the second book to come out. The dynamic of the couple is somewhat of a Luke and Lorelai from Gilmore Girls. Like that's the vibe it gave off. This girl works in this coffee shop and she has like a big banter relationship with her boss who's kind of like a cranky dude. So it's very Lorelai and Luke vibes for me. So that's why I'm so excited for this one. But I think I'm friends with people who have read the arc for this and they're not that big of fans of it. So I'm so nervous. I'm still excited. I want to know what I think of it. And I know that a lot of people didn't really like the first book so maybe I'll like the second one since other people don't like it. I don't know I guess I'm in the minority here with what people think about romance books sometimes. <laughs> it sounds really good and I'm really excited for it. I'm just nervous again. <laughs> the book that comes out in August on August 4th 2020 is You Had Me at Ola by Alexis Daria. This looks so cute. Look at this cover y'all. <laughs> so this says for fans of Jane the Virgin and the Kiss Quotient which I love both of those. <laughs> After a messy public breakup soap opera darling Jasmine Lynn Rodriguez finds herself splashed across the tabloids. So I believe she gets a new co-star in a show that she's in and he is a telenovela hunk named Ashton Suarez. After his last telenovela character was killed off, Ashton is worried his career is dead as well. Joining this new cast as a last minute addition will give him the chance to show off his acting chops to American audiences and ping the radar of Hollywood casting agents. To make it work, he'll need to generate smoking hot on-screen chemistry with Jasmine. Easier said than done, especially when a disastrous first impression smothers the embers for whatever sexual heat they might have had. With their characters on the line, Jasmine and Ashton agree to rehearse in private, but rehearsal leads to kissing, and kissing leads to a behind the scenes romance worthy of a soap opera. While their on screen performance improves, the media spotlight on Jasmine soon threatens to destroy her new image and expose Ashton's most closely guarded secret. That sounds so good. I normally don't like romance books revolving around like famous people but both of these people are famous so I'm excited to see if I actually really enjoyed this one. That sounded so good and I love the Kiss Quotient and Jane the Virgin so I'm very excited for this book that apparently mixes the two. Okay now we're on September. I couldn't pick one book for September. I couldn't pick two books for September. <laughs> I picked three books for September. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. <laughs> so I have to talk about The Ippos King by Grace Draven. This is supposedly supposed to come out on September 15th. I have been waiting for this book for three whole years. <laughs> This is the third book in the Wraith Kings series. The first book is Radiance, if you didn't know. This third book is revolving around a different couple in this fantasy romance land. So this is a romance between Anuzet and Saravek, and they are from the previous books. And he is a human man, and she is from the Kai. And so it is their like romance story and they were bantering in the other books so I'm so excited for this. All I know is that it's their romance. I'm so excited for it. I love Radiance, one of my favorite romance books of all time. I've been waiting for this book for three years so when this book drops 
if it drops on September 15th, I will be reading it as soon as possible. <laughs> a book that comes out on September 22nd of 2020 is Well Played by Jen DeLuca. This is the second book to Well Met. This is centered around people who work in a renaissance festival and they end up like falling in love with each other. So this is about Stacy, who was friends with the woman from the first book. This is actually a romance between Stacy and a man she never thought would be the one for her. It is her summertime flare fling Dex McLean and Dex is easy on the eyes on stage with his band the Dueling Kilts. Stacy has never felt an emotional connection with him so when she receives a tender email from the typically monosyllabic hunk she's not sure what to make of it. Fair returns to Willow Creek and Stacy comes face to face with the man with whom she's exchanged hundreds of online messages over the past nine months. To Stacy's shock, it isn't Dex. She's been falling in love with a man she barely knows. That sounds really good. I really enjoyed Well Met, so I'm very excited for this one as well. And the book that also comes out on September 22nd is Tools of Engagement by Tessa Bailey. <laughs> this is the third book in the Hot and Hammered series, and this is about Bethany and... D -d -d what's his name? His name is... Wes. Since Bethany's brother isn't, like, allowing her to work on like the construction side of the business, Bethany goes and makes her own construction company. There becomes a rivalry within the siblings and a television producer gets wind of it and they're invited on Flip Off, a competition to see who can do the best renovation. Bethany wants bragging rights, but she needs a crew and the only member of her brother's construction team willing to jump ship is Wes Daniels, the new guy in town. His Texas drawl and handsome face got under Bethany's skin on day one, but the last thing she needs is some cocky young cowboy in her way. As the race to renovate heats up, Wes and Bethany are forced into close quarters, trading barbs and biting banter as they remodel the ugliest house known on the block. It's a labor of love, hate, and everything in between, and soon sparks are flying. But Bethany's perfectly structured life is one kiss away from going up in smokes, and she knows falling for a guy like Wes would be a flipping disaster. <laughs> that sounds so cute. I've really enjoyed the past two books in this series, so another book. I'm so excited to read. So for October, on October 6th of 2020, we have Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade. Look at this cover. Look at this cover. It's gorgeous. So this is apparently a fun romantic comedy set in the world of fan fiction in which a devoted fan goes on an unexpected date with her celebrity crush who's been secretly posting fan fiction of his own. Marcus Castor Rupp has a secret. While the world knows him as the star of the biggest TV show, Gods at the Gates, he's known to fan fiction readers as Books Arianus Would Never, an anonymous and popular poster. Marcus is able to get out of his own frustrations with his character through his stories, especially the ones that feature the internet's favorite couple to ship, Arianus and Lavina. If anyone ever found out about his online persona, he'd be fired immediately. April Witter has secrets of her own. A hardcore Lavina fan, she's hidden her fan fiction and cosplay hobby from her real life for years, but not anymore. When she decides to post her latest Lavina creation on Twitter, her photo goes viral. Trolls and supporters alike are commenting on her plus size take. But when Marcus, one half of her OTP, sees her pick and asks her out on a date to spite her critics, she realizes life is really stranger than fan fiction. Even though their first date is a disaster, Marcus quickly realizes that he wants much more from April than a one-time publicity stunt. And when he discovers she's unapologetic Lavina Stan, his closest fandom friend, he has one more huge secret to hide from her. With Love and Marcus's career on the line, can the two of them stop hiding once and for all, or will the match made in fandom end up prematurely canceled? Ah, that sounds so stinking cute. I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited for this. It involves fandom and fan fiction and romance and oh my gosh, I love all of those things. They're all trigger words for me. So I'm definitely buying this book the moment it releases. For November, on November 17th of 2020, we have A Duchess a Day by Karis Michaels. I believe that's how you pronounce their name. Um, this is the first book in the Awakened by a Kiss series. This is a historical romance book. And apparently... 
It is about an heiress who is trying to escape her wedding to the vain and boring Duke of Lusk. She's evaded, refused, and even run away. So her family decides to hire a guard for her, like a bodyguard, to keep her in check and make sure she doesn't escape this wedding. And his name is Declan Shaw, but are known as the Huntsman. When their worlds collide, Declan realizes that containing his new client is only slightly harder than keeping his hands off of her. That sounds so good. I love bodyguard romances. I love them so much. As you couldn't tell, I have a couple on here actually. This is a historical romance that I am definitely dying to read. Next is a book that comes out on December 1st of 2020. We have Fall Into Me by Mila Gray. I don't know anything about this book. Honestly, I don't know if I'm that excited for it. This is the only book on my December want to read because no other books that I know of are coming out in December as of right now. But I have bought every single one of Mila Gray's books. I have enjoyed half of them. The newer ones that she has released, the two newest ones, I have not been that big of a fan of so I'm kind of hesitant to go into this one. Each book revolves around um, someone in the military except for the third book. The third book was really random. This is a um, unexpected romance that unfolds between a young recording artist and her ex-marine bodyguard trying to outrun his difficult past. So this is another bodyguard romance it looks like. <laughs> but the thing is it is a uh, famous person, celebrity romance, so I'm kind of hesitant to go into this one, but I'll still buy it. I'm still just waiting for the book that will give me the same feeling of Mila Gray's first book. Hopefully this fits the bill for that. So I have one book on this list that I'm going to talk about that comes out in 2021, even though it was supposed to come out in 2020. <laughs> we have The Bride Bet by Tessa Dare. This is the fourth and final book in the Girl Meets Duke series. Oh my word, I was so sad when I realized this book wasn't coming out this year. This is about Nicola. She apparently made a pact when she was a kid. If they were both single in 10 years, they would marry each other. She is the bookish daughter of a scholar and he is the devilish heir to a duke. And she never thought of herself as a duchess at all. But when Duke of Wesley returns a decade later, he's serious. He needs an heir, so he's holding her to their marriage bargain. Diamond ring, lavish gowns, engagement ball, and more. Nothing Nicola wants can dissuade him. When she calls him arrogant, he praises her honesty. When she makes a social stumbles, he catches her fall. And when she gets exasperated, the Duke can't seem to get enough. For reasons she can't fathom, he claims that no other woman will do. He's betting he can change her mind with logic and passion. She's betting she can change his mind by just being herself. As the clock ticks down to the wedding day, neither is counting on losing their heart. I'm so excited for this book. I wish it came out this year, but I completely understand why it's being pushed back. When does it come out in 2021? It comes out February 23rd of 2021. It's less than a year, so uh, that's good, I guess. I don't have to wait a whole year for it, but I really love this series and this cover is beautiful and I'm so very looking forward to it. So there you have it. Those are a bunch of books that I'm very, very, very excited to read. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books. Please give me your opinions and which releases that haven't come out yet. Are you also excited for the books that I've talked about today? Anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye!